Hello and welcome back everybody. My name is Little Corn Dogs, and in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to make a submarine. Yes, a submarine. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen much about the submarines in this game, but there's really not enough. I think more people need to be starting to make more submarines. So let's get started on the build. So what I'm gonna do here is go ahead and I'm gonna make it small, but like really, really, really long, like a realistic submarine. So if we go down like this, and across like that and then we go ahead and get the four we're just gonna have to copy and paste this uh, I guess this like little section here like multiple times because if we go right there just like that okay now this is just one part of the uh, what is it called like of the submarine it's just like one of the chambers so um, if you guys don't know, there are buoyancy blocks, of course. So there's weight blocks that will, of course, weigh you down. And then there's also small little blocks that will, uh, you know, add more buoyancy. But these, you can control your buoyancy with these. So good uh, little helpful tip here is if you have a buoyancy block and you want your submarine to float realistically like a submarine you want to have it on the top of your build so you want this and either maybe some weight on the bottom or maybe something that just weighs a little bit on the bottom so um, realistically this would not work inside if, of a submarine if you just had these things spinning because it would be airtight but that's not how it works in this game so we can actually manipulate that so if we go here oh wait actually that's wrong. Hold on one second. Uh, let's go ahead and make these have the right controls that we want. So um, if we go here, I want it to be like E and Q for us to go up. So if we hold E, it will make us float up. And if we click Q, it'll make us go down. Um, and then with this guy here, um, I think I'm just going to have space and then left control to go backwards. So something simple like that. But that's what I love about this game. You can program all these things to just do whatever you want and you're not stuck to a specific button. So um, I think that's long enough. And then let's go ahead and get started on the nose here. Now, I think what I'm gonna have to do is delete something like that and try and fit the seat in here somehow. I don't know how, but we're gonna figure it out. So uh, all of these angled pieces are relying on the one by four blocks. So, um, and of course we can't just put any form of normal seat. We gotta put this seat in there. So um, let's do this. Let's delete that guy. And then we'll just put two of these blocks. Is that gonna work? There we go. And we'll put two of those blocks in there like so, so that this can connect on the back part here. So let's go ahead and scoot it in. Hopefully it'll all work. Okay, cool. So all of those are holding and is working, but I think that's still not going to work because I don't know how we're gonna put the nose on this thing. So let's go ahead and delete that and that and that and that. And let's scoot these back one. And then we're gonna have to put like a three just like that in there. And then we'll have to copy it down just so it gives us one more block of like space so that we can add like another space right here. If this is making sense, good. But if not, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but basically what you wanna do is fit your underwater seat in there somehow and make the structure still be able to stay together. Because if you see those little yellow like that little explanation marks you're not you're not gonna get you're not gonna get far you're, it's just gonna fall apart so uh let's go ahead and do something like that i want the nose to be like extremely realistic when it comes to uh being like a real submarine now i i don't know anything about submarines besides the fact of kind of how they work so don't like say mine's not realistic enough to uh to what is a normal um, submarine. I, I'm, I'm just going off of what I know about a submarine. So uh, let's go like that. And that looks so cool. It looks very like hydrodynamic, I guess. I don't know, it looks like a giant crayon to be honest. Uh, all right, so there's that. Let's go ahead and copy. 
I think I'm going to make it longer, to be honest, because I don't want a little tiny submarine, but that, that kind of looks good. So if we go right there and then we copy it to the back side here, let's go ahead and go with, where are those blocks? Is it this one? Am I thinking of the right one? I think this is it. It looks right, right? Yeah, it's connected. It doesn't look all wonky. It looks like uh, it's the right size. So let's flip it like that. And then let's go ahead and add some turning because we're definitely going to need some turning on here. All right. And then A and D, that should be working fine. And then however, this is going to work. So like that. And where are, I kind of like the look of these. These look really cool, actually. Is that going to work? That's going to work. That's so cool. Okay, cool. Um, and then we flip it like that that looks sweet that's starting to look like a submarine if you ask me man i like it all right so we go like that let's delete that i know that submarines have like that like that square piece on the front of it where like you can climb in and out of i mean at least i think that's what it is so don't quote me on that but that's what i think is what it does um where is it so like this we will flip it like so and put it on like that. Whoa, that's the wrong button. Whoops, I meant to copy it. There we go. Okay, just like that. And then we do the same on this side. It's starting to look like a submarine really quick, man. This is looking good. Now, the problem with this is though, is that we're gonna have to add some form of control. Cause I don't wanna just rely on these uh, what are these called? Buoyancy control devices. Wow, that sounds pretty cool. Um, I don't want to just rely on those to be able to go up and down. I also want to be able to pitch and maneuver this thing, which is good about this, uh, these hinges back here. It is going to be able to have me turn, but I also want an up and down. So um, I just assume that this is how uh, an up and down works on a submarine is having like, you know, how these have like little wings on the front end of the submarine. Um, at least that's what I think it does. I'm just going off of what I remember. Um, but let's see. Let's go ahead and do a three by one. Go right there. Is that gonna work? Oh man, that's not gonna work. I think we just gotta put these here and then get a angled little piece right there. There we go. Yeah, we'll have to just flip it. So I'm thinking, yeah, this block's gonna have to stay here so it covers that because I don't want them to be able to see like inside of this this thing here. But I, I think it's looking good so far. I mean, if we go like that and like that, that's pretty hidden. I kind of like that actually. So um, let's see, let's get a wing like that yeah this is looking legit dude this is looking so good all right so we got that i mean are we done or what that was quick Jeez, dude okay wait 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 hold on i think i gotta add some more detail on this thing i kind of want like these rounded bits i think that would yeah yeah we're gonna need it on there that looks so cool okay so just like that oh copy it there we go flip it and then we get these rounded pieces like so yeah this is coming together great i mean we don't know if it works but you know i'm assuming that it works uh now we get uh two by one and we just copy and paste it okay so let's go ahead and get in the water i guess that was so quick man uh i don't know how i just speed build that but you know we're gonna see if it works so I forgot what the controls were, to be honest with you. I forgot. Oh, look it. And it's actually floating like really good. Okay, so space is forward. Dang, this thing's quick, dude. Oh, that's what I forgot. I knew I was forgetting something. Okay. There. There. And these guys. We got to have them go up and down. So I think like that is right. S and W in that way. Let's see. Is that right? No, that's not right. We got to flip it. We got to flip it. Whoops. All right. W and S. All 
Okay, so we got the down and we got the up. That's working. Okay, so now if we click Q, we should start sinking. Oh, look at that! We're sinking. Like a real submarine. Okay, so then we got the we got the tilt like that. So we got the turning. Just like that. Oh man. I don't know if I like that turning on the back. Let's let's take that off. Let's just see if that changes anything. Let's just turn these off for now. Because we're kind of tilting, like very drastically. So if we start going, oh wait, this is working a lot better because you can just lean into the turns. We don't even need that back end to turn to be honest with you, but I like how the front end is, you know, it allows us to go up and down like that, but also stay straight. Like we're not doing anything out of the blue or wild that's like, I can't stand how this thing goes underwater. This is working good. So we can go up and down with the W and S. And then if we hold E, I'm not pressing anything. I'm just holding E. Look at the buoyancy. Just we launched ourselves out of the water. Oh my gosh, man. Okay. Okay. Do we just stay floated? That's sweet. Okay. So I'm just going to take this. Uh, I'm going to take these guys off because we don't even need them. They almost, it almost made it worse. Uh, so, oh, I gotta scoot it forward. Forgot about that. There we go. Yeah, I mean, that made it way worse. So if we just hold E, we start going down, and we can start driving. That's so cool, man. And we can just lean into the turns and then just pull up with these guys there. This is working great. Like, this is really good. And then we can just level ourselves off. So the seat controls are actually strong enough to tilt this thing. And I thought this thing was really big. So, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and paint this guy up. Um, and then I'll be right back because I want to add some decals and make it look all super cool. So, uh, I'll be right back guys. All right, you guys, we are back as you can see. And I added a little bit of a cannon on top here. So, um, it's really cool. I mean, here, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Let's go ahead and lift this thing out of the water like that. There we go. Uh, so yeah, I had like a burgundy red all around it. The bottom looks really bright for some reason. Maybe I, maybe I did the wrong red, but, um, yeah, we have the numbers on the side just like that. And yeah, all the little tail fins have just a little hint of that red on there. And then, like I said, I added a cannon on top. Now I put it as left shift cause I didn't have any other really good buttons to set it to, but let's go ahead and aim towards the land like that and click shift. Look at that. We can start shooting towards the land or I mean, or we could shoot right straight up and then probably have to move because it's going to come right back down and blow us up. But yeah, this thing's working good, man. I mean, the turning's not like amazing, but honestly, like show me a long submarine that has amazing turning on the top of the water. Probably not a lot. So if we go down just like that, and then we lean into the turn and then we hold S and we can just pull back. I mean, look at it. it's working so good. And imagine there's like boats above you, right? There's a lot of boats. You can just like start shooting them above you and like they'll just start exploding because like, I don't know, this this thing is so cool. I really never really made a uh, a submarine like this. I think it just it looks so good. I don't know. I love the look of it. It looks total old military uh, submarine. And even if you were to like paint it all black and put like some stars on it, it looked like some like crazy Russian one too. Like there's just so many routes that you can go with this thing. And also I love the cannon on top. That was, I felt like that was a good idea to do. So if you guys want to go ahead and build a submarine, I recommend uh, following this little build tutorial here because uh, it works out really good. And then of course, when you want to start floating up, um, if you hold E, it just starts floating up like this. So that's, what's cool about those like buoyancy manipulative blocks is like, if you just hold E or key bind it to whatever you want, you'll just start going up. Now, of course, when you're sitting still, it doesn't seem like much, but once like you're driving, so right. So if we're driving like this, and then if we hold Q to start going down, I mean, we just instantly start sinking. So it's really cool. And then let's say we hold E. I'm not doing anything to the front wings. We're just going up. So the buoyancy blocks are really good for submarines. I definitely recommend doing that. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to see anything else like this, go ahead and leave a comment down below on what you want to see next. And if you guys want to download some, check them out on the Steam Workshop. My name is Little Corn Dogs, and I'll see you guys in the next one.